So here we are at uh, Bowling Park Primary School in Bradford, and I've got two new friends. This is Scarletta. Hello, oh. my name is Scarletta. I'm a deputy head girl at Newcross Street side. You're deputy head girl yep. at this site, and this is Ibrahim. Yeah, and uh, I've been here since I was little, and I'm head boy on Newcross site. So, so we've got Bowling Park School, we've <laughs> yep. got Usher Street site, site we've got yeah. New Street site, we've got, <laughs> we've got real complications in all this. <laughs> what really matters in your school? Um, that people get along with each other and the learning, right? Yeah. And do people get along with each other? Yep. yep. Grown ups and children? Yeah. Come on then, let's go and see this. <laughs> What's happening here? Um, that's year five. Year five? And what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> We've been caught here, aren't we? We're on, uh, on film. And you're filming me, aren't you? I can tell. What equipment do you use? What equipment do we use? Well, I'm very lucky because I have two main pieces of equipment. I've got a microphone there that helps the camera to pick up what I'm saying. And I've got two smashing people here showing me around. These are my main piece of equipment because I, without these, I wouldn't find out anything about Bowling Park School. So that's my main piece, Scarletta and Ibby. Yeah. OK, so uh, well, there's a lot of rhythm in this school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The drummers are really doing it, aren't they? So let's, let's go and see what the year five are about, shall we? Can we go? Let's have a look. <laughs> what are we doing then? We go and scribble, yeah. and then we pick a photo of Whitby. Yeah. So like the Abbey. Yeah. And then we could draw stuff around it. And why are you doing this? So you could um, imagine what Whitby looks like. Because you're going next week? Yeah. That's the church where we're going to meet round. Yeah. And that's the 199 steps. Oh, where does that go? All what, the way to the, the castle. Up to the top? Yeah. So the 199 steps? Yeah, that's signing. You're going to kick. Oh, you haven't done it yet. <laughs> I can imagine it. We've been using Whitby basically as a stimulus for the rest of our work. Yeah. So in literacy, we've been looking at room 13, yeah. and then lots of map work with geography, and we've been linking our maths to the Whitby visit as well with yeah. investigations. So these are things you're going to find out while you're on the visit. No, we're going to eat fish and chips. You're going to eat fish and chips. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Very, very famous for fish and chips. <laughs> Have you ever been to the seaside? No. Never been to the seaside before? You've never seen waves? I have seen waves on television. On the television, but you've never been to the sea. Have you ever been on? You've never been on a beach. You, are you going on the beach when you're at Whitby? Yeah. You're going on the beach. Uh, on the sand. Yeah. And are you going to do anything on the beach? You're just standing. Clean the water. I've just met somebody who's never been to the seaside. How many of them not been to the seaside? I think we've got about four children in this class that have been to the seaside. Four that have been. Yeah. And the rest that haven't. So there's something about new experience. That's it. Definitely. It. Yeah. What do you think of my drumming? That was good, but it wasn't excellent. You could have just followed on, but you did your own rhythm. It was really good. I did my own rhythm? Yeah. <laughs> you mean I got it wrong? It was Tell me, what was I getting wrong? I like chocolate. It is nice. OK. I, I like chocolate. It is nice. I like chocolate. It is nice. There, you got it. Explain to me how the, the drumming fits into the general thinking of the place. So during Smile Week, um, which is our super magical, inspirational learning environment that we've set up, we set up in school back in March, um, we invited Paul in to teach the children about African music and drumming. Um, and that fitted in with our topic work that we were doing um, called Wish You Were Here. What's exciting about it is that the teachers are given a lot of opportunities to be creative in how we deliver yeah. the curriculum. Yeah. And that's really important because we have to make sure that it's suitable for the children that we're teaching. It's been really good with Mrs. Paradigm. She lets you do fun stuff. I mean, she's helped us really a lot with our topic because she's been in uh, South Africa and China and Slovakia. Who else? You are. Yeah. I haven't been in South Africa. I, I, oh, lived no. in, I went to China and I lived in Slovakia, so that was, that was a help, wasn't it? Because I could talk yeah. about what it was like there. Cool. The diversity, I think, that we have in the school and the backgrounds and the experiences children bring to school, yeah. that's part of our world and that's what we can draw on and also giving children an opportunity to experience different things yeah. in different ways. 
and trying to link that all together to make some kind of sense of the world because yeah. that's what primary school I think is about. Yeah, we've, got to, we've got to water oh, We are. Yeah, sorry. Scarlett, do you want my gloves on you? We have I've done drumming, I've done planting. What a day out I'm on here. Yeah, I look perfect. <laughs> now I need the media team to take a photo of that every week. <laughs> every week. And we'll watch it grow. What started all this? We did really well with the Morrison's Grow vouchers. Yeah. So we decided to get a greenhouse because we've got quite a lot of vouchers. And it's just <laughs> snowballed from there, really. And are you a gardener? I am, yeah. I are do you? love gardening, yeah. And Amanda's my apprentice. We're inclusion mentors. We're in charge of attendance in school. We have to make sure that everybody's here and, uh, <laughs> that, that they're, yeah, and on time and that they're happy in school. So is attendance a problem? It was a problem, but it's improved so much since we took over our roles. We took over our roles two years ago when Mr Harrington started uh, being the principal. We were down at the bottom in Bradford for attendance, but we've almost hit our target of 95% now. So, what, so what's making the difference then? Why are they coming? On learning. Yeah, I think so. The curriculum's changed yeah. as well. I think yeah. it's a lot more exciting in school. Yeah. Uh, they do a lot more activities. We've got a lot of after-school clubs, a lot of sporting events. What else have we got, Akeb? Um, uh, uh, ICT stuff. All the ICT. new ICT. <laughs> all the new ICT so all these things are like magnets that yeah. bring them in. Yeah. So what, what have we got here then, Ivy? We've got some uh, chicks that I've only hatched like a few days ago. Oh, it's the media man, it's Mr. Rowe. <laughs> Can you hear them? So there's high drama in school then, Ed, everybody's interested. Yeah, all the school have taken part in it, but it was primarily set up for a year one topic. You're the year one teacher. How have you how have you used this in your teaching? Um, well, we've been making trying to encourage children with creative writing, giving them real experiences, real life opportunities that they can then do descriptive writing from. Yeah. And we've used the chicks and we've got some of our writing here. Oh, come on then, let's have a look. Come here. Have they enjoyed it? They have loved what it. What have they enjoyed, the writing or the chicks? Both. We have, um, we've had a webcam on the chicks oh, for well, the past really, three yeah. weeks and we've been watching the webcam every week. And then on Wednesday when they started wobbling, that's when the excitement kicked in yeah. for us. Yeah. Amelia, would you like to read yours? We saw the chick. She said hi. She is very black. She said quack quack. She changed colour to yellow. She will change colour into yellow. She is very sleep. It's been a very, very interesting morning. The school, I understand, has got relatively low attainment and uh, that's explained by a previous lack of commitment in the community to the educational offer that was here. Whether Stuart and his team are pulling that around and making a difference through this enjoyment, enrichment, excitement in the outcomes for youngsters is the, the challenge I think the school's got to answer. And I'll be fascinated to talk with Stuart and to see what's happening at the other site, to see whether we can see standards and attainment getting better through this enriching, enjoyable, exciting experience that the children are having. So tell us a little bit about you and your history at the school. Um, well, I come from Slovakia. You're from Slovakia, yeah? yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, four years. What about you then? My mum and dad are from Pakistan and I've been born here. What do they want you to do when you grow up? Uh, well, my mum's saying become a doctor. Yeah. And my dad's saying an engineer. My mum's saying that I should be a translator and my dad um, um, to be a teacher. A translator? That would be a good job, wouldn't it? Yeah. What do you want to do when you grow up? Translator. Go on, tell me some things in Slovakian. I don't know, you too. You say, um, well, it's been very interesting to have a camera crew in the school today. Bolo to pošešení, že som mala kameru dneska v škole. And I'm a very good learner. Ja sa dobre učím. Who will achieve amazing things in life. Čo budem robiť dobre veci v živote. It's lovely, wouldn't it, that? Yeah. It's lovely to know you've been uh, delightful to spend time with this morning. I've really enjoyed looking around this side of the school and now I'm going to see Pusher Street. So we've got the uh, powerhouse of the school here. We've got the head, the deputy, and two members of the school council. And it seems you've been really battling with attendance. Are we trying to make a difference? What did you do? It's made people, uh, more children to come to school so they can win the prizes. They're desperate to win the prizes, are they? And what sort of prize have we got then? You said about. First time we had a, uh, a raffle for Nintendo DS. 
Yeah. That was over 98%. And then the second term, we got a, we got bikes. Yeah. That's still over 98%. Yeah. And then the third term, we go to Bradford Academy to watch a movie with popcorn and ice cream. Have we got anybody who's won some prizes? Well, we've got Neve who won a bike, but she gave it to her little brother. So you won a prize? And then I gave it to Owen. Why did you do that? Um, because I've got a bike, but that's a boy bike. And you thought, well, Owen would like it? Yeah. Aren't you a lucky man? But I can't even ride it yet. You can't even ride it yet? Have you had lots of practice? Yeah. Have but you? I was trying to do it on my own at the park. You were trying to do it on your own at the park? Yeah. Did your sister, Neve, did she walk along with you? Yeah. Um, no, I didn't because my dad's help. Your dad, oh, your, your dad was helping, and here he goes. Look, he's off. <laughs> Where's he going now, Mr. Harrington? Are you going to catch him? Prior to uh, the schools amalgamating, becoming one school, one yeah. school had the third worst attendance in the whole of Bradford. Yeah. One school had the fourth worst attendance, so it was a huge, huge issue. And and why was the attendance poor? Um, I'm not sure if everyone believed that that school could make the difference. Yeah. You know that it was actually fundamental to giving you more choices yeah. in the future. Uh, and I now think they do. It's it's expected you come to school every day, and this is something yeah. that hopefully will, you know, lead to a happy and fulfilling life. You've made every day count. Spring 2010. One, two, two separate schools before I arrived. One of the schools unfortunately was in special measures and had been at that point for longer than any other school in the country. The other site had also struggled at sort of being above floor targets. We have a very highly mobile population. For example, this year alone, 90 children have started, and that's not including nursery and reception. So we feel that makes us fairly unique as well. Uh, and then, who are the children that, that, that come and go? And we've got some great children from very different and very challenging backgrounds. <laughs> we want to be honest about the challenges we face in terms of attainment. But at the same time, we do think there's a, a collective energy here and something special that's happening. And, and really, the future of the school is consolidating what we're doing. So those experience, those visits, getting the children here, getting the children at the centre of learning. And really, we want to see that in terms of pupil outcomes mm. so that we're not forever a hard-to-shift school or, or the phrase that's been used in the past. Cool, you've been brilliant, Ambassadors. It's been so nice to meet you. And I shall remember my day at your school forever. So thanks for having me. Thank it's you. It's been a real Welcome pleasure. In. Thank you. And a uh, real pleasure Thank to meet you as well, Chelsea. Thank, Thank you. you. Show me out. Some schools find themselves with massive challenges. And they think they're going uphill. This school is one of those. It's a school which has had a difficult recent past and coming together as two separate sites has added a challenge. Stuart and his team are working together. They're trying to make a difference. And as they approach this hill, they've not changed down a gear and pedaled faster, but they've gone up a gear. They've attacked the hill. They see the challenge of getting the community to believe in itself, to believe in learning, to believe what children can achieve. They're succeeding in that. They've worked hard, they're on the way, and in a few years' time they'll look back and realise what they've achieved.